Hey, this is Mike, and I'm working on a uh, project that I made for a dartboard. Uh, it's called Dart Panel. And um, there's a couple of projects out there on the web already that are like it, but uh, all it is is a hack of an old dartboard. You take the back off, take the guts out, and then you replace the processor with your own. And uh, on this one, I used an Arduino Uno. Um, I've done another one where I used uh, an ESP32. Uh, this particular one, it's a little bit different because it's got a player change button and it's got a remove darts uh, flashing LED. And then I've also got a mist sensor inside here. It's a, an audio sensor and it, it uses that in order to detect mist darts. And then uh, one other thing about the project that's a little bit different, um, the ones that I found online, they actually, they had an application that runs on the PC that takes the information that comes from the dartboard and then it uh, you know allows you to play a game on the PC well um, that actually the one that I found you actually had to pay for it so I just decided to go ahead and create my own so I've got a little application running on a, a little PC a little Windows laptop here and uh, you can see it just it looks like a, a regular Cricut interface and this one it actually it's got um, 01 games well here I'll just show you uh, if you go down to the game selection right here you can see it's got uh, cricket games all those regular variants it's got uh, 01 games around the world with a few different variants um, tic-tac-toe baseball Bermuda triangle and a game called rando which is just a weird little game that I can came up with but um, yeah, and then I've also got coming off of the little PC here, I've got the HDMI hooked up to this is the TV in my living room. So not only does it uh, give you the visual, but it also pipes the sounds over to the uh, to the TV. So that's kind of cool here. I'll just it's my turn right now. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm playing against a bot and it's kicking my butt right now. So. Let me throw a couple of darts here. Oh, great. Let's see if I can get a 19. <laughs> Trying to throw with a camera. So you can see that the, uh, the remove darts, thing's blinking, so I'll hit that and take my darts out. So now the bot's gonna throw. And it throws up a little virtual thing, so you can see it was shooting for a 16. And it shows you where the bot's dart actually hits. Oh, and it missed. You can see. But you can see actually uh, what it was shooting for. And so now it's my turn again. But um, yeah, one thing that's interesting about this app that I made a little bit different. I'll show you here on the uh, configuration. And that is, if you go into... This button right here, it's the bot tuning. That allows you to tweak the skill level of your individual bots, and you can add more bots and uh, just tweak their uh, their hit radius. This this little circle right here, that's wherever the bot throws, it's going to wind up inside of that circle. It's going to generate a random dart. So the smaller their circle, the better their skill level. And then when you tweak your uh, settings, you can hit this button and it'll throw a hundred random darts and it'll tell you what the results were like, you know, it's, I won't go into it in intricate detail, but it gives you a lot of options to uh, tweak the skill level of your, your bot. So it makes playing against the computer a little bit more realistic. But um, yeah, that's just the general overview of uh, this particular project and so I'm going to put a free download of the entire package out on the web and then I'm going to put uh, you know the instruction manual PDF that's going to have all the diagram details and you know things like that so give it a try and uh, let me know how it goes thanks for watching